Greetings, I'm Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman. I decided to start a fun video segment series uh, with book reviews. So Goldilocks book reviews. <laughs> this uh, idea came to me from emails and feedback that I have received with people asking me what spiritual books have helped me, what books, what spiritual books do I read, have read, so I thought that's that's really profound. Instead of having providing a, a list uh, in in a document form, or or trying to to list all the books, what I thought I would do is start off and just make a short video of a book review of the books that I have read or that I am currently reading. And I will have to go back and now <laughs> kind of review some books that I have read. But let's start with what I am currently reading. Uh, and this is a very fun book. I found this book uh, via social network. Uh, I saw a copy of the book and thought, wow, it just intrigued me so much. I had to, I bought almost all the series that was in, in the in this book series, all the books from, from this particular series, except for one, so I gotta get one. Uh, but I think that one's out of print. Anyway, I'll go back and find it. So what is this book? Tell us, tell us, I know you're all curious. So the name of the book is F It. That's right, F It by John Parkin. It's the ultimate spiritual way. Just saying F It. How many of us do have a phrase that we say and it helps to release and, and it doesn't mean that we mean what we're saying um, certain release phrases and words is just that gets it out okay I used to say I don't care uh, that, but that's far from the truth I care so much that you just kind of reach a point to where it's like eh, no no more and that's a way of saying F it. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it bother me anymore. <laughs> oh, and let's just pull back and look at the whole picture pretty much. You know, just get it away from being so close to me. Anyway, I wanna read uh, the chapters that are involved. I'll read the, the table of contents here for you, which is really great. And, and instead of a foreword, it's the foreplay. This man has a great sense of humor. You will laugh, laugh, laugh. Uh, you cannot be offended by, by anything that he does say. You shouldn't be offended, let me say that. And if you find that you do, take a deep breath and go, wait a minute, you know, this is part of the whole philosophy to get you to say effort and release, such rigid ideas and ways that we think. Anyway, here's the contents, uh, the foreplay. Chapter one, why we say effort. Chapter two is the essential effort techniques. There's five. The first one is relaxing, letting go, accepting, watching impartially, or as how I say observe, and, and conscious breathing. Those are very powerful tools and techniques. Chapter three is saying effort to pretty much about everything from food, relationships, illness and disease, money, fame, the weather, being a peaceful person, parenting, uh, um, plans and goals, your issues to fear, what other people think, uh, being uptight, being selfish, etc., etc. It just goes on. Chapter four is the effect of saying effort. Chapter five, the effort form. Uh, so it's, uh, I'm almost done with this first book and I have to tell you, I enjoy it immensely. I really do. So the second book is Effort Therapy, The Profane Way to Profound Happiness. This is the second book. Again, John C. Parkin, P-A-R-K-I-N. The third book, uh, Effort, Do What You Love. There's a, a small book that I haven't gotten yet. I don't know if it, I can't remember if it was out of print, but anyway, um, I'll get that one. 
So it's just read the little bio for you real quick about the author. John C. Parkin knows a thing or two about doing what he loves. Ten years ago, he said, F it to a top job in London and escaped to Italy with his wife, Gaia, and their twin boys to start teaching retreats. Soon after, he wrote the first of the best-selling F it books. He now spends his time leading effort retreats in spectacular locations around Italy, such as on the volcano of Stromboli, teaching and liberating the power of effort through e-courses, and then napping on the beach or swimming in the sea, and he loves it all. The website uh, is www.theffitlife.com, and so you have to spell it out. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying F it just for the video, but it's the full word itlife.com. The F itlife.com. <laughs> it's going to be very easy to find if you just Google it or his name. And then another book, fun little book. This is, I've added this to my spiritual tool chest. It's just so fun. Look at this. F it is the answer. Remember the um, eight ball? that the magic eight or the magic ball or whatever, you know, you would just ask it a question, shake it, and then the answer, you flip it over and the answer would be on the bottom, be revealed. He put this in book form, or he put that idea, I should say, in concept into book form. And it's really great. So you think of your question and you just flip the pages and wherever it lands, bam, that's your answer. I really love the, the beginning that he writes the beginning of the book is please use this book as it's intended as the philosophy of effort is intended lightly this is a light hearted tool not a sacred oracle and obviously with any decision as with any act in life do your utmost not to act in any way <laughs> that breaks the law or harms or upsets others or yourself. And that includes questions like, hmm, shall I rob this bank or not? <laughs> so we wouldn't normally suggest the beginning of one of our books, but it's time to close the book, ponder your question, and turn to your answer. Such fun, such humor. It's, um, it's really great. So check out this series, The F It series and I promise you you will laugh and ponder and release uh, it's it's really great therapy it is so check that out um, effort by John uh, C Parkin and again this this little book here effort is the answers uh, co-written by his wife as well the Gaia so be sure to check those out I'll put the links on the bottom to the website and spell out anything for you that you need so that you'll be able to find these books very easily. So thank you, take care, many blessings.